Now, if you've ever looked at some of the date and time values that are provided on WMI objects, they can be a little bit of a hassle. Um, let me show you what I mean. Let's get WMI object, and we'll get the class Win32 operating system. And I'm going to pipe it to format list star so we can see all of its information because there is a property in here, last boot up time. And let's see, I can probably do this. Uh, 2011, February 11th. This is probably 7, 17, and 59 seconds, milliseconds. This is a time zone offset, so that's, let's see, um, I'm going to carry the 4, ah, you know what, this is too hard. If you pipe any WMI object to get member, you'll notice that they all come with a convert from and convert to date time method. PowerShell actually tacks those on, so here's one really cool way you can use it. Get WMI object class Win32 operating system, and I'm going to pipe that to select object. And the property I'm going to select, uh, let's just get some basic stuff. Let's get the caption, we'll get the build number, we'll get the uh, computer name out of it, and now let's create one of those cool custom properties. We'll give it a name, or you could put an L there for label instead if you wanted. Uh, we'll put last boot up, <laughs> bought up, boot up time. And the expression, here's the cool part, watch this. We are going to take the WMI object itself and access one of its members, the convert to date time method. And the date time we are converting is the same object that got piped in, its last boot up time, if I can type it. So I'm taking that weird value and doing a cool little conversion to local time because that actually takes into account the time zone offset and I get my output. Really, really neat trick, really helpful thing to remember.